Hi guys, welcome to today's video. We're Journey to Med. I'm Liddy. And I'm Hazal. And today's video is how to get a nine in GCSE sciences. So before we start, chemistry and physics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've nearly forgot. Biology, chemistry, and physics. Yeah. Before we start, um, <laughs> you'll see. Before we start, <laughs> oh, you, you put both my tree before. So before we start, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and also follow us on Instagram, journey .med. And um, before we start, guys, there's something really, really important I want to say. Oh my gosh. I just want to give a shout out to all of my Marvel fans out there. Um, you know, we out here with the merchandise. <laughs> I love Marvel. But yeah, that's not why we're here. We're here for GCSE Science. Cool. Okay, GCSE Science is a lot, first of all. Mm -hmm. And especially with the new specification, you guys are learning some things that I learned in A-level. Yeah. And first of all, I just want to um, apologise. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine because you can do it and then you'll be more prepared if you're taking the GCSE for A-level. But anyway, so with GCSE sciences in general, I think it's really important to understand the content. Yeah. That might sound like obvious, but some people can just be like, oh yeah, I'll just get an overview of the content, go to the exam, wish for the best. <laughs> we can't really do that here. We're trying to get the top grades. So I think it's really important to, before you start any type of exam practice, make sure you've got the knowledge on lock. That one, a hundred percent. Like. I made sure that Easter holidays, the beginning of Easter holidays, I was finished making my notes, understanding the content, going through PowerPoints, watching videos on YouTube. I made sure that I, I finished learning so that from Easter holidays, all I was doing was practice, 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 practice. You can't be learning stuff up until the exam. And like, there are various ways that you can learn sciences. I personally, I don't really suggest this because there are better ways to learn that will save you time, like making blurred mind maps, flashcards and so on. But yeah. I just, I couldn't seem to learn from flashcards with GCSE sciences. I don't know what it was. So I learned best by making notes, but obviously I can't rewrite notes up until my exam. I needed something that I could look at on the day of my exam in the morning and yeah. like, you know, try, remember everything so what i did is you know the cgp revision guys because i did ocr and oh, i had to do triple science as well i hate triple science what i did was i rewrote everything really i rewrote everything in the form <laughs> of mind maps <laughs> like i got a big a3 and i rewrote everything it was like it was like b1 part one b1 part two i rewrote everything in all three books so just copied it out i just copied it out. not copied it Okay, what I did is I'd read through it, try to understand it, and then I'd write it down. And anything I didn't get, I added on top later. That is a form of active recall. So, you know, if you want to do it, do it. But I feel like there are better ways to do active recall than doing that. You know, you can learn in a question answer format. Blurt mind maps are really good as well. Yep. It's basically what I did, but you, I, I would suggest doing that for hard, for hard topics you don't understand yeah. rather than the whole thing. But you know, it worked for me. It worked for me. I so. mean, it did work, yeah, fair <laughs> enough. But um, I think my way of learning science was, um, I guess maybe similar. I made like lots of different types of notes. So because with me, like, I guess, yeah, rewriting it helped, but I would kind of rewrite it again and again, but I guess simplify each time. Oh, that's not. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, simplify each time so that at the end, even though it was only a free, few sentences, I could actually remember what the bigger sentences were. Okay, and that yeah. was really helpful. And um, I guess each of the sciences are a bit different, but they're linked in the way that once you get the content, it's much easier to go through exam questions. Mm -hmm. And I think once you've got the content on lock, practice practice yeah. practice like it's so important that you guys practice as much as much as you can because especially with like biology for example oh God, yeah. keywords as but the more practice you do the more in, like well you're going to understand the mark scheme mm -hmm. and how the examiner is thinking yeah and especially with oh my gosh gcse sciences if you know the if you do enough practice you're going to know the mark scheme because the questions just repeat just repeat just repeat it's so repetitive and if you know the mark scheme Guys, like when you do a, a new paper, you're going to envision the mark scheme and it's going to be so much easier to um, explain. Yeah. So I really recommend doing as much practice as you can. Yeah, and I also recommend group work. I think it's so helpful. When you can explain something back to someone, ding, you've learned it. Like, yeah. Yeah. You, you've, you've conquered the world because <laughs> when, and that's why group work is so important. Try to get a friend, try to get a group of people you can do biology with. It's so helpful because I found, at the time I was a sixth form, I found, I'm sorry, not sixth form, 
I don't say my GCSEs, yes, at secondary. I found triple science so difficult, but being there with a support group of friends, I found it equally difficult. Like, facilitating my vision made me feel like I wasn't alone in everything. I'm not coming from my second school, you know, I loved it, it made me who I am today, but I didn't really have a stable physics teacher. It was that type of situation where, you know, my teachers were changing continuously. Yeah, so same. by the time the exam came around, I can't lie to you, I didn't learn physics properly, and I did because I didn't have time to, I didn't know what I was doing, I, I didn't even have a teacher. Properly. Oh my gosh, so do you know, I used to help me free science lessons YouTube. he he helped me that that genius. guy on youtube he's a genius he's, watch his videos he make is. notes on it he's he the way he explains everything makes so much so clear sense. As well. oh no free science lessons got me free physics like it was really yeah. really useful and yeah, yeah for science i used a lot of youtube videos actually mm. as well as um free science lessons i used um Primrose Kitten, she's got really good videos, especially for chemistry because she yeah. and uh, biology because she goes through like the experiments we did. But um, yeah, I think YouTube helped me a lot because um, in lesson, if my teacher couldn't really explain it well, like well, whatever that may be because of, I could just go home and watch yeah. the video and it would just help me understand it a lot more. And also, if you guys want to use, you can use like Snap Revise because Snap Revise do videos as well. Yeah, and, and they have, have practice thing. questions. Yeah, they have Snap Revise two point which is like. The practice question is quizzes, yeah. it's active recall, it allows you yeah. to remember stuff and I really wish that it was available when we were doing our like literally so but, even yeah but. so if it's available to you guys don't miss the opportunity to get it because yeah. it's actually really good but not just you know advising you guys to get it for ban or like it's really useful active Some recall is so what good. you need but you know if you are gonna buy it these are the <laughs> cheeky discount code these are discount code it's gonna be on the screen now Jenny oh I'm so sorry <laughs> Journey to med 20. Yeah, but about 20% off. Definitely. But honestly, guys, like science is doable. It's mm -hmm. very doable. Whether you like the subject or not, you know, your teachers are there to support you to help you. Yeah. Definitely use them and just ensure that you know the spec back to front. Like the you have a specification, you yeah. use it, please. Yeah, you have one. please. At yeah. uni. We don't know what we're yeah, doing. It's, it's so, alright. GCSEs. Right. We need what we're getting ourselves into, but GCSEs, please use your specification. Use your but yeah, like GCSE science is what made me want to do sciences at A level one. That's yeah. why I'm doing medicine here now. So, you know, it's they're good. The sciences are good. Just make sure you just buckle in, understand what you're doing, definitely, and it should be good. Yeah, that's about it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So thank you so much for watching our video. We do hope that the tips and advice we gave were useful. If there's any questions you guys have, please drop it in the comments below or yeah. even message us on DMs on Instagram. Um, so yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Make Don't sure forget to like, comment <laughs> and subscribe. And turn on your face notifications. Exactly. See you guys next week. Bye. Bye.